Uh, thanks, but uh, only my mother can call me that. <laughs> anyway, folks, welcome to the show. We hope you're ready for a good time, because we got lots in store for you today. Right, guys? Yeah! <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah! Hey, Chucky, I've got a song I'd like to share with everyone. Well, I've never been one to turn down a song by the lovely Miss Helen Hitty. <laughs> Off the plane at LAX with a dream in my cardigan. Welcome to the land of fame, excess. Whoa, am I gonna fit in? I jumped in the cab, here I am for the first time. Look to the right and I see the Hollywood sign. This is all so crazy. Everybody seems so famous. My tummy's spinning and I'm feeling kind of homesick. Too much pressure and I'm nervous. That's when the taxi man turned on the right. Club in my taxi cab, everybody looking at me now. Like, who's that chick that's rocking kicks? She gotta be from out of town. So hard when my girl's not around me. It's definitely not a national party. Saucy or stilettos. I guess I never got the memo. My tummy's turning and I'm feeling kinda homesick. Too much pressure and I'm nervous. It's when the DJ dropped my favorite tune. Good job, Helen. Hey guys, I've got an idea for our show. As you know, we get a lot of fan mail, and I thought it might be fun to read some of those letters to our audience. What do you think? All right. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. It's stupendous. Sure, Mike. That's a great idea. Okay, then. I'd like to introduce the very first Letters to Chucky. Chucky. Jasper, who's our first letter from? Well, our first letter comes from Jessica. She lives in Paris, France. I mean, Paris, Kentucky. She writes, Dear Chucky, I am very interested in your hat. I remember you used to wear a red derby. Well, why the hat change? But don't get me wrong, I love your new hat. I'm just wondering, what made you change your look? Your friend, Jessica. Her English is very good. What's a derby? <laughs> Yeah. Isn't it a type of roller skating race? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> You're right, Pasquale. There is a roller skating race called a roller derby. But I think Jessica's referring to a hat that Chucky used to wear all the time. 
I'm confused. Chucky, you used to race on roller skates? <laughs> no much. A derby hat, although it has the same name, has nothing to do with a roller derby. I used to wear a red derby. Don't you remember? Well, to answer Jessica's question, the reason I decided to retire it and upgrade to this new hat is simple. The old one was worn out. Not to mention it was quite out of style, even for a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, if you have questions for me, or any of us, just get your parents' permission and then send us an email at cectv at cecentertainment.com and we just might answer it right here on stage. Well, I've got some questions I'm thinking of already. We should do that again. I love letters to Chucky. Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! And Munch, that was a great idea. Uh, hey, I got an idea as well. Let's break out that new song and get some singing, dancing, and some music going on in here. You got it, Chucky. <laughs> a little reggae song for all my friends. Cause the sun is climbing up into the sky And everyone is having fun Yeah, the clocks just start on our big beach party Come and play Cause the day is still young We're dancing in the sun Oh! 
Okay, Jasper, I have a kind of joker for you. Oh, goody. What kind of dog likes so warm temperatures? A hot dog. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you must have heard of that one before. Well, I am a dog. I've heard all the dog jokes. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Pasquale. It was still doggone funny. <laughs> uh, folks, we're gonna take a short break, but uh, don't go too far. We'll be back in just a little bit. But there, G. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hasta la pasta. Australia and I was Australian champion swimmer so it was like a hard decision for me to choose if I wanted to swim or you know take the musician path. My very first video I posted on YouTube we just posted it up for fun for our family and friends to look at. And all of a sudden it started getting all these views and comments and a few months later I was contacted by Sean Campbell. He just found my video by accident and he wanted me to come over to the US and start recording some songs with him. My debut single is called I, I, I and it features Floor Rider. The song is about like really liking a girl and missing her real bad when she's away that you kind of stutter and say, I, 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 I'm missing you. And the first time we heard it, we were like, that's so stupid. <laughs> and then it kind of like went into a song and you know, it sounded real good and decided to make it my first single. There's a part in the song that says, when you think about me, text 143. And everyone's always like, what's 143 mean? There's one letter in I, four letters in love, three in you, so it really means I love you. For other kids that are looking to become a musician, become a singer, it's just do it. Like, don't give up. Did you know that sound travels four times faster in water than in air? Well, now you know! Let's roll! 
living with Grandma. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, hey, kiddo. How you doing today? Well, Grandma, when we get home, I'm gonna do lots and lots of chores so I can get stickers for my chart. Then I'll get my new Turbo Robot Mega Ship. Oh, well, I know all about chores and charts. When I was a little girl, I had a chore chart, and I had lots of chores to do. I had to clean my room, help my mom cook dinner, and wash the dishes. And where I grew up, we had lots of snow in the winter, so I had to help shovel snow. Woohoo! That was hard work. And guess what? I didn't get any toys for doing my chores. I just had to do them. But you know what? I was always proud of myself. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't even get a toy for doing all those chores. Well, getting a toy will feel good, but I bet you'll feel real proud of yourself for doing all those chores all by yourself. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> My grandma is really smart. C-E-C-T-T -E primates all come from Southeast Asia. Like the orangutan, but more so, gibbons are arboreal. They are as dexterous in the trees as the spider monkey from South America. And they can swing so fast, almost no predator can catch them. Why are gibbons so rare? Deforestation or loss of habitat has severely threatened their existence. Remember, Asia is, after all, the most heavily populated region of the world, and it's always animals who have to make room for people. Though these nice people are not only making room for the gibbons, they're making lunch too. This huge continent and all its surrounding islands and nations is home to some rare and wondrous creatures, some that exist in the wild nowhere else on Earth. Asia not only has some of the smallest animals of their species, but some of the largest as well. In Asia, there are animals who are beloved the world over for their majesty and for their near humanity. No doubt about that. Well, we've done it. We've been to Asia and back. Four more days till my foot gets here. Four whole days. We'll never make it. Poor Uma. Poor Shankly. You've got to do something, Beth. What can we do? We can't spend more time with her. Yeah, we still have to sort and clean and polish all these shelves. Hmm? Sorry. Here you go. Too bad Uma can't be helping us. Yeah, too bad. Oh! <laughs> All 
right! That's it! Uma, I... You've got another little spot. Roll on your chair. Well, stay back, you crazy lass! Uma! We collected them for Doug. Looks like a knit chocolate block full of shells. Crikey, what a mess they are. Oh, no worries, though. I'll have them all sorted and polished in a jiff. Now, what was it that you two glass came here for? Oh, nothing really. We just came by to visit. Georgie, I haven't got time for visitors now. I've got work to do. Okay, Uma. We'll come back later. Goodbye, Uma. Goodbye, Shane. Bye. Goodbye, subs. And thanks. Hello, Booster. Would you like to earn your animal helper badge? <laughs> Some work needs to be done on Ibo's enclosure. So could you look after him for a few hours? No problem. He can be a bit naughty. So be sure to keep him busy and out of mischief. <sighs> All aboard, Ibo. Let's go exploring. We'll go and see the giraffe. You don't seem very interested, Evo. <sighs> but then I suppose you've seen us all a million times before. So what haven't you seen? Um. Oh, what about where I live? <laughs> Welcome to Chinese in Depot, my home. Most children sleep here. Look, that's my roundhouse. <laughs> Everyone is really friendly. Let's go and see the park. <laughs> Hi, Coco. What are you doing? Practicing my aim by watering the plants. <laughs> what are you doing with Evo? I'm looking after him, and he wanted to see where we live. <laughs> oh, Ebo. Get him, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> if you like water, Ebo, Rooster should show you the shop one. <laughs> C E C T V Chucky Sheets. Chuck E. Cheese takes the stage. Showtime!
Hey kids, it's showtime! Yeah! With Pasquale the Chef, Jasper T. Chows, Mr. Munch, Helen Henny, and your favorite mouse, Chuck E. Cheese! Thanks, everybody. Isn't this a great day? It sure is, Chucky. In fact, I would even say today is a perfect day. It makes me want to sing. Well then, folks, without further ado, the lovely Miss Helen Henny. The sun's up a little after 12. Make breakfast for myself. Leave the work for someone else. People say, that guitar solo as usual. You know, I've always wondered, how did you learn to play the guitar? And didn't you used to play the banjo? Well, thanks, Helen, yes. When I was just a little pup, I got a banjo one year for my birthday. It was really hard to learn at first, but after about a year of practicing every day, it finally clicked. I'd go out to the back porch and just strum and pick all day. And then I started playing here with you guys, and so I thought I'd pick up the guitar just to give us a little more 
And although it was hard to learn at first, I eventually got it. Who knows what would have happened had I given up. Yeah, I can't imagine any other dog up here playing next to me. Yeah, me neither. You're one of my best friends, Jasper. Oh, thanks, guys. All I know is that I wouldn't be here without all you guys. I think we've got a pretty talented bunch up here. Pasquale in his mean drumming, Munch's mad keyboard skills. Add to that, Chucky and Helen's awesome vocals. Uh, by the way, Helen, what was the name of that last song you just sang? It's called Perfect Day. Oh, hey, you want to know what my perfect day is? Are you going to tell us even if we say no? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, go ahead, Pasquale. Uh, what would your perfect day be? Well, uh, first I wake up and start a playing my drums. Uh, then I go to the kitchen and start a making some pizza. <laughs> and then I go to a space camp. I fly a rocket ship and explore Mars. <laughs> and then I meet some Martians and learn all of their pizza recipes. <laughs> and then I invite all of my new Martian friends back to Earth and end of the day with a big Martian pizza party here with all of you. Gee. And that's my perfect day. Mmm, I'd love to try a Martian pizza. Wow, Pasquale, that sounds like fun. Okay. I was with you up until you went to Mars. How'd you come up with such a crazy perfect day? Well, I was just uh, using my imagination. I think you're onto something there, Pasquale. Kids, using your imagination is awesome. Another day for dreaming, soaring way up high. Dancing with us today, folks. We're gonna make a quick trip to outer space, but we'll be back soon to share more laughs, songs, and maybe even some Martian pizza. <laughs> back in a bit. <laughs> bye bye, kids. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hey, kids.
kids, did you know that starfish don't have brains? That's the scoop! It's a beautiful, 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 beautiful world With skies of blue and trees of green It's a beautiful, 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 beautiful world It's our home, let's keep it clean Beautiful animals, beautiful trees Beautiful fish in beautiful seas Birds in the sky with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a classy song. He had a hat, my high silk hat. He wore it high upon his head so proudly, a beautiful hat, my high silk hat. A hat like this just makes him feel so grandly. Now fancy this and fancy that. The splendor of this hat in all its majesty. Like a king in a royal cap. I feel so swell and handsome in my hat. I bet that others wish they had. In fact, a hat is this, a hat is that, a hat so high, a high so high. Oh, Mr. Art Bugatti, now what do you think of that? Now his hat was not all he wore so proudly. I must, in fact, share more than that. For upon his lap, the sat the treat so fondly of chocolate this and chocolate that. Deliciousness that makes him feel so dandy A chocolate bliss A chocolate snack Conventions such as these are more than candy Somewhat like mine, a box of that I have my chocolate placed upon my lap I feel so good you just cannot top that I have my snack, a chocolate pack of chocolate this and chocolate that Upon his hat, and so his hat. So beneath his hat, he thought and pondered, What should I do to save my hat? He thought and contemplated as he perspired beneath his hat. Upon his hat, he feared his chocolate treats would soon retire into a pool. A chocolate hat. I won't feel grand if I take off my hat. The sun's getting hot. My hat, it might go flat, and my sweets will melt like that. Oh, hurry, Mr. Trolley, before I go. 
before my death furnace goes flat. He decided to forgo his look so dashing to save his hat. And little snack. So he placed the treats upon the seat beside him and put his hat on top of that. Oh, please. Oh, please, oh, please. Don't anybody sit close to me. Sit close to me. Upon my hat. Upon my hat. I ask if all of you could be so kindly and just stand back away from my snack. A great big squash just sat upon my hat. A great big squash just squished my hat real flat. He squashed my hat, he made it flat. He squished my snack. Oh, what a bad. Oh, tell me anybody. Now, what do you think of that? A great big squash just sat upon my hat. Oh, golly! Uh, what's your name? They've never given me a name. I've been around since show one, and I still don't have a name. Now, what do you think of that? I hope you feel all right. I hope you feel all right. I said, I hope you feel all right. I hope you feel all right. <laughs> you know you, you make, make me run.
know that an iguana can stay underwater for 28 minutes? Who knew? Well, now you know. Showtime. The sound of heartbeats going pitter-patter, holding hands with your loved ones and gazing into their eyes. And nothing fills my heart with greater joy than to present to you our favorite lovey-dovey cutesy button mousing, Chuck E. Cheese! Any more loving than I've ever had, making all better when I'm feeling sad. And tell me that I'm special even when I know I'm not. Make me feel good when I hurt so bad Barely getting mad I'm so glad I found you I love being around you You make it easy As easy as one, two, one, two There's only one thing to do Three words for you I love, I love you. you There's only one way to say those three words, that's what I'll do. I love, I love you. Give me more loving from the very start. Piece me back together when I fall apart. Tell me things you never even tell your closest friends. Make me feel good when I hurt so bad. This friend I've had, I'm so glad I found you. I love being around you. Make it easy, as easy as one, two, one, two, it's only one way to say those three words, that's what I'll do, I love, I love you, there's only one way to say those three words, that's what I'll do. It's only one thing 
I love you. There's only one way to say those three words. That's what I'll do. I love you. Chucky, I knew you were romantic. Was that song for me? Uh, well, you know. Uh, yeah, Chucky, uh, are you and Helen finally boyfriend? And hey, hey, uh, hey I got that. I, I gotta get that. Uh, hey, Larry, uh, can you put that on speakerphone? But you told me not to answer the phone during a show, Chuck. Just do it, Larry. Okay, Mr. Cheese, you're the boss. We're making magic at Chuck E. Cheese's. This is Chucky. Can I help you? Hello, Chucky. This is Munch's mom. Is he there? I'd like to speak with him. Uh, yes, ma'am. He's right here. Uh, we got you on speakerphone because we're in the middle of a show. Hi, Mom. Oh, I thought you didn't answer the stage phone during shows. <laughs> anyway, Munch, I need you to clean your room when you get home. Aunt Sandra and Uncle Ricky are coming to visit this weekend. Remember? Okay, Mom. I'm sorry. I meant to do it last night. I'll get to it as soon as I get home, okay? Okay, honey. Thank you. I'll let you go so you can do your show. Hugs and kisses, pumpkin. Bye-bye. Uh-oh. Bye, Mom. Oh. What's the matter, pumpkin? <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin? <laughs> I hate cleaning my room. How come, Munch? Don't you want things to be neat, clean, and organized? Yeah, I mean, I guess I do. I just wish I didn't have to do it. It's boring. I'd rather go outside and play. But it doesn't have to be boring, Munch. What do you mean? Let me show you. Take it, Chucky. with my 
Oh, I never thought cleaning my room could be so much fun. Yeah, I tell you what, Munch. If you clean your room, I'll make your favorite pizza. Really? You mean it? A large peanut butter and jelly pizza? All for me? Oh, oh, you. Come on now, that's just a violation of my public rights. Hey, Chucky, how about we sing another love song? Uh, uh, <laughs> Look at the time! <laughs> hey, everybody, we gotta take a short break. We'll be back soon. Sing some love songs? <laughs> we'll see. Be back soon. <laughs> I'm John, and we make music with our feet. Look. It's called tap dancing. And here's our cool trick. I'm John, and that was our core trick. Sometimes I will help him to get faster, and he will one day be about my feet. I'm faster than you. I'm way faster than you. Let's just see. Oh, you want to throw down right now? Come on, man. Sometimes I get nervous when I'm going into a big competition. I do get butterflies in my stomach. There are little blue butterflies just flying in my stomach. <laughs> family and sponsors cheering you on when you're in first place and going up on the podium and getting a big trophy. When I got first in my championship, it was really good. I was really excited and happy. I almost started crying. I would want to be a supercross rider one day. That's why my dad takes the time to bring me out here so I can practice, so I can be fast like them. My favorite thing about riding is coming out to the track, meeting with friends, being with your family, just going out there and trying your best and having fun. Don't push it. CEC TV, 
Googly eyes, you make stuff come alive, so don't cry those teardrops. Alone or in pairs, you belong everywhere, so cheer up and smile, smile, smile. Oh, googly eyes, don't look so surprised, I will put you on stuff. Put you on a small rock, now the small rock can talk, but what does it say, say, say? Put you on a tree stump, now the tree stump can jump over the roof. Tops. I'll put you on a balloon It flew all over the room Do you hear it sing, sing, sing Put you on a warm bun Now that warm bun can run We will never catch up I'll put you on some old pants Now those old pants can dance You can see them jump, jump, jump Jump, jump, jump Jump, jump, jump You've got googly eyes You've got googly eyes You've got googly eyes You've got googly eyes I put you on a hole in the ground Now that hole rolls around And that's a little spooky I put you back in the drawer All the things move no more Everything's sleeping now Oh, googly eyes You make stuff come alive So don't cry those teardrops Alone or in pairs You belong everywhere So cheer up and smile, smile, smile Smile, smile, smile Smile, smile, smile You've got googly eyes You've got googly eyes You've got googly eyes
You're making me hungry. That's it. You're walking the plank. Says who? Says the cabin. I do. Oh, yeah? Aye, aye, Captain Crunch. Arrgh! <laughs> Spark plug and I've never sniffed a stink bug And I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball And I've never bathed in yogurt And I don't look good in leggings You just don't get it And we've never been to Boston in the fall Not 
Love. There was nobody that compared to my baby and nobody came between us or could ever come above. She had me going crazy. Oh, I was starstruck. She woke me up daily. Don't need no Starbucks. She made my heart pound. It's give a beat when I see her in the street and at school on the playground. But I really want to see her on the weekend. She knows she got me gazing because she was so amazing. And now my heart is breaking, but I just keep on saying, baby, baby. many times did you say baby into that song? <laughs> hmm. You know, I don't know. Did anybody count? As a matter of fact, I had a feeling someone might want to know the answer to that question, so let me just refer to the Baby Counter 3000. Okay, let's see here. The um, <clears throat> square root of pi minus the multiple of three apply the Pythagorean theorem, carry the one, and... Okay! The word baby is said 55 times in that song. Wow, that's a lot of babies. <laughs> that's a lot of hey guys, anybody up for a picnic at the park? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. That sounds great. That sounds like fun. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Aw, I was looking forward to that picnic. Oh, what are we gonna do now? Relax, guys. The rain's not all that bad, and it's not gonna rain forever. Besides, there's plenty of things we can do indoors. Right, Chucky? I think you may be on to something there, Jasper. Uh, come on, guys. Let's try to look on the bright side. Pouring down 
the bright side We can make our own good times Cause a good day Always starts inside your mind We won't notice stormy skies If we keep our focus in our eyes On the bright side out huh that's a deal yeah that's great i love the sunshine but you know i had a lot of fun with you guys when it was raining <laughs> i guess it just goes to show you that rain or shine you can have a great time when you're with good friends you know i couldn't have said it better myself Pasquale. hey kids we love hanging out with you thanks for coming to spend some time with us here today. but we'll see you back here in just a little bit for more songs and a lot more fun Bye-bye. Bye, kids. Goodbye, everybody. See you later. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for me to get on out of here. I gotta go get all changed. Africa is home to three of the four great apes. The gorilla, the chimpanzee, and the bonobo. But it's Asia who claims the fourth, the magnificent orangutan. The word orangutan means man of the forest in the Malay language. And these apes are mostly arboreal, meaning they live in trees. No other ape has such long reddish brown hair or impressive cheek pads. And though these animals are sociable in captivity, unlike the gorilla, or the chimpanzee, or the bonobo, who live in family groups called troops, the orangutan is mostly a solitary animal, living alone in the heavily forested areas on the islands of Borneo and Sumatra. However, since orangutans have the longest childhood of all the apes, mothers will live with their young for up to seven years. An orangutan senses Hearing, sight, smell, taste, and touch are very similar to ours. And often, so are their expressions. Orangutans are omnivores, meaning they will eat both plants and animals. But the bulk of their diet is vegetation. Unlike the tiger, orangutans won't swim. But they do use tools. And each evening, they build a sleeping nest in the tree branches. In their nests, they will curl up and sleep for the night. Here at the zoo, since tree sleeping is not an option, an orangutan prepares a napping platform for herself and her infant. A branch for a roof will protect them from both sun and rain. Ah, that's just perfect. Hey kids, did you know that a cricket's ears are located just below their knees? Well, now you know. my friends, but how can I choose between Wilson and Coco? I'd make one happy and upset the other. 
The mother and baby giraffe that you see love eating the leaves of the baobab tree. And Tombo knows so much. I can pick him. Ooh, Frostini! <laughs> Everyone loves Frostini. Action Chugger! He's number one. Oh, who am I going to choose? This is the hardest batch quest I've ever done. Harrison to platform two, please. Uh, uh, Ivy. Hans, Eddie needs you at the workshop. Coco, can you take a hopper car to the quarry? Emery to the repair shed, please. Pete, you can help Pally round up any stray rolling stock. Honking horse! Of course! I know exactly who I should give this batch to. Have you made your decision, Wilson? Yes, V. I'm choosing Frostini because he makes so many people happy. And when I grow up, I want to be just like him. Frostini? That's an excellent choice. Why don't you go and tell him now? Perfecto! I will! And Brewster? Who do you appreciate? You, V. I appreciate you. You always keep an eye out for me. You encourage me to do my best. And thanks to you, Chuggington runs like clockwork. Oh, <laughs> Brewster, thank you. For once, I'm lost for words. Hey, kids! Do you love seeing Chuck E. Cheese live and in person? Well, do you want to dance and sing with your favorite mouse? Well, we've got some great news. Chuck E. Cheese will be performing for you soon. Check out the live show performance schedule and your location for Chucky's next appearance. You won't want to miss it. Yeah! There's too much noise. I just can't sleep. What's that sound? Can you hear it? It's the clock. Tick a tick a tock. I wonder what's inside the clock that makes it go. Tick a tick a tock. Maybe it's a little man, little hammer in his hand, tapping on a little rock in the clock. Tick a tock, tick a tock, a ticking through the night. What's that sound? Can you hear it? Water dripping. Drip, drip, drop. How many drips make a drop? I wonder if it's gonna stop. Maybe it's a bunch of ants water ballooning all the plants. Trickly and tickly make my garden pickly. Drip, drop, dripping through the night. There's a whoosh, whoosh, whoosh whistling through the trees. There's a whoosh, whoosh, whoosh whistling in the breeze. It must be the wind playing a tune. Singing her favorite song to the moon. Hear the sounds all around us. Hear the sounds all around us. Hear the sounds all around us. Shh, don't make a peep. Tick tock, drip drop, whoosh around us. Night will sing us all to sleep. Hear the sounds all around us. Shh, don't make a peep. Tick tock, drip drop, whoosh around us. Night will sing us all to sleep. Bridger, I'm 10 years old and I'm a downhill skier. Downhill skiing is on a steep part of the mountain and you go through gates and like jumps and you, step, you go really fast and it's a ton of fun. When I was four years old, I was the youngest person to see that go right over there. I'm part of Aspen Valley Ski Club, 
and they go all over Colorado and race against other towns and places. Before I start a race, I'm thinking about what I should do, turning early, and how the gates go. You're scored by how fast it takes you to get from the start to the bottom. Well, there's all different slopes, but my fastest is like 19 seconds. I won a lot of races. When I win a gold medal, it feels really happy and it's like I've accomplished something. It's just a really joyful feeling. I will probably want to be a downhill skier for the U.S. ski team. I like downhill skiing because you get to go really fast, about 50 to 55 miles per hour. It gets kind of scary sometimes. My mom worries a little bit. Some of my friends have seen racers crash and it looked really painful and they think it's dangerous for me to be going that fast. But I'm like, whatever. <laughs>